Are you thinking of moving to North Carolina? There are 10 things that you need to know before moving to North Carolina. And if you're considering relocating to North Carolina, this video is for you and it's coming right up. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn Alvarez, a realtor with the LA Group of EXU Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, I will be talking about the 10 things that you need to know before moving to North Carolina. If this is your first time on our channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for watching. Also, please like, share, and leave a comment if you have any experience moving to North Carolina or if you're thinking about making the move to North Carolina. I had no idea about these things before we moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. And I would love to share with you what to know before moving to North Carolina. North Carolina is among the states with the highest percentage of inbound moves in 2020. People deciding to relocate have cited the pandemic as a big influence on their move since their work arrangements have changed, allowing them to work from home. North Carolina has three geographical regions. The number one thing that you need to know about the state of North Carolina is that it is divided into three geographical areas, the Appalachian Mountains, the Piedmont, and the Coastal Plain. The segment of the Appalachian Mountains within North Carolina is known as the Blue Ridge Mountains because its peaks and ridges are often seen wrapped in a blue haze. The best known cities in the Blue Ridge Mountains are Asheville, Boone, Blowing Rock, and Banner Elk, North Carolina. Asheville is a beautiful city in western North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains and a popular tourist spot because of the Biltmore State the largest privately owned house in the United States. Asheville is known for a vibrant art scene, historic architecture, and the downtown art district with galleries and museums. Boone is a small town and the home of the Appalachian State University. You'll enjoy a visit there to Daniel Boone Park, the cozy covens, art galleries, and beautiful scenery. Blowing Rock is a destination for family attractions including the Blue Ridge Parkway, Twitsy Railroad, Gem Mines, and Grandfather Mountain. Love skiing in the winter? Visit Banner Elk and find the amazing Elk Sugar Mountain Resort and Beach Mountain Resort. The Piedmont is the area lying between the Atlantic Ocean and the Appalachian Mountains. The word Piedmont comes from Italian and means foothill. This central region is home to North Carolina's largest cities, including Charlotte, Raleigh, Greensboro, and Durham. North Carolina's coastal plain is low, flat land along the Atlantic Ocean. Wilmington and the Outer Banks are in this part of the state. Wilmington, with beautiful beaches, is about three and a half hour drive from Charlotte. North Carolina has 100 counties. Wow, that's a lot. Did you know that North Carolina has 53,819 square miles in size and contains 100 counties? California is more than three times larger than North Carolina and has only 58 counties. New York has 52 counties on 54,556 square miles. Polite and friendly people, and that's true. People in North Carolina are very polite and friendly. Get used to hearing people say, sir and ma'am. Coming from California when we first moved here years ago, we were amazed to see strangers wave at passing cars and greeting and striking up a friendly conversation in a grocery store. In some parts of the country, calling ma'am or sir is considered kind of an insult. Not here in North Carolina. In the South, it's just good manners and sign of respect for people. It's not a snarky jab at your age. The Carolina barbecue, oh, it's so good. North Carolina prides itself on its distinct style of barbecue. In most of the country, when you say barbecue, people assume you mean grabbing burgers, hot dogs, or chicken and putting them on a grill. That's not what we mean by barbecue in North Carolina. 
Barbecue here is a type of food made out of pork and there are two varieties. The first is Eastern North Carolina barbecue when a whole hog or entire pig is barbecued and the meat from all parts is chopped and mixed together. The sauce is thin and made of vinegar and spices. The other type is Lexington style or Western North Carolina barbecue. This is generally pork shoulder that is chopped or pulled with a red sauce seasoned with ketchup, vinegar, and pepper. Why is North Carolina called the Tar Heel State? During the colonial period, North Carolina was a key supplier of naval stores. The tar, pitch, and turpentine produced by our longleaf pine trees, bountiful in the eastern part of the state, were used to coat wooden ships to prevent leaking and damage from shipworms. North Carolina's nickname, the Tar Heel State, was tied to the people who produced the relentless black substance called tar in the mid-18th and 19th centuries. The people who harvested it were called tar boilers, and because it was messy to work with, it inevitably winding up on the feet of the workers. Like tar to heels, the nickname stuck. Bless your heart. The phrase, bless your heart, sounds so sweet, but could it really be the sweetest insult ever? In the South, there may be a hidden meaning when somebody tells you this. It could mean something shady, depending on the context. Most often, though, bless your heart is used to show sympathy. For example, if a young person gets hurt, someone may say, bless his heart to show sympathy or concern. Be sure to read between the lines when you hear this, just to be sure. Pollen. Oh, I'm warning people with allergy. I love springtime, but it's also the season allergy sufferers dread here in Charlotte and North Carolina in general. As you know, North Carolina has an abundance of trees. Most of the pollen that cause allergic reaction come from trees, weeds, and grasses. For several weeks in spring, cars, streets, and houses can be covered with a layer of yellow pollen. So, be prepared for allergy season and stock up on your antihistamines. North Carolina attracts transplants. North Carolina is attracting lots of transplants from different states such as California, New York, New Jersey, West Virginia, Illinois, Michigan to name a few. Young professionals and millennials are flocking to Charlotte in search of economic opportunity. Due to the pandemic crisis, North Carolina has become one of the top states for remote work. It has a lower cost of living than the national average and offers plenty of opportunities to get outdoors. It's reported that 100 people a day are moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. Professional Sports Team North Carolina is home to three major league sports franchises, the Carolina Panthers of the National Football League, and the Charlotte Hornets of the National Basketball Association are based in Charlotte, while the Raleigh-based Carolina Hurricanes play in the National Hockey League. Charlotte is also home to the Charlotte Checkers of the American Hockey League and the Charlotte Knights of Minor League Baseball. We're excited that Major League Soccer is also coming to Charlotte, as the Charlotte Football Club is planned to start playing in 2022. And last but not the least, and the sweetest, Carolina Sweet Tea. In other parts of the country, when you order sweet tea, they think you order iced tea with lots of sugar. Here in the Carolinas, sweet tea is a specialty drink, and if you order tea in the South, you can be certain you're getting Southern sweet tea, always served extra sweet and extra cold. Once again, my name is Lynn Alvarez, a realtor with the Ally Group of EXP Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you have any questions about North Carolina or Charlotte, please give me a call or text me at 704-975-2429. Or if you want to look for homes for sale in Charlotte and the surrounding areas, please see the description below. Actually, there are more than 10 things that you need to know before moving to North Carolina. And that will be on my next video, part two of the series. So there you have it, the 10 things that you need to know before moving to North Carolina. I hope you like this video and has given you some value. Here are a couple of videos to check out. And please don't forget to subscribe, 
like, share, and leave a comment. And ring that bell so you'll be notified every time we have a new video. And don't forget to watch part two of the series. Thank you so much and have a great day.